Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see some important multiple choice questions of Unit 2 from Signal Sense Systems. First question. Any waveform can be expressed in Fourier series if Option A. Sampling conditions are satisfied. Option B. Dricklet's conditions are satisfied. Option C. Maxwell's condition. And option D, none of the above conditions. So, we know for the Fourier series to exist, it should satisfy Dricklet's condition. So, option B is the right answer. Second question. The Fourier series expansion of an even function contains, so normally even function means it consists of only cosine terms. So, option A is the right answer. Next question, the Fourier series expansion of an odd periodic function contains, so odd function means it consists of only sine terms. So option C is the right answer. The complex exponential Fourier coefficient of a real valued time signal has odd symmetry, even symmetry, conjugate symmetry and no symmetry. So, complex exponential Fourier coefficient means it consists of even symmetry. So, option B is the right answer. Next question. Laplace transform of the output response of a linear system is the system transfer function when the input is here the input should be an impulse signal. So, option C is the right answer. The Laplace transform of unit impulse function. So, unit impulse function means del of t. So, if we take Laplace transform for this, this is the formula for Laplace transform. The answer is 1 by s. Yes. That is option A is the right answer. Next question. Non-linear system cannot be analyzed by the Laplace transform because it has no zero initial condition. If it has zero initial condition, then only we can analyze using Laplace transform. So, option A is the right answer. Next problem. The Fourier transform of a function is equal to its two-sided Laplace transform evaluated on imaginary axis of the S-plane because we know the relation between Laplace transform and Fourier transform. In that, we have to substitute S is equal to J omega in Laplace transform to get the Fourier transform. So, it is on the imaginary axis of the S-plane. So, option C is the right answer. The Fourier transform of a unit step function that is U of t is given by f of j omega equal to 1 by j omega. So, option A is the right answer. This is the formula for calculating the Fourier transform. The Fourier transform of del of t is given as del of t means unit impulse function. Always remember Fourier transform of del of t is equal to 1. So, option B is the right answer. Which type of Fourier series allowed to represent the negative frequencies by plotting the double sided spectrum for the analysis of periodic signals. So, here double sided spectrum. So, double sided spectrum means it is exponential Fourier series. So, option C is the right answer. If Laplace transform of f of t is f of s, then Laplace transform of f of t minus capital T. This is time shifting property. So, option B is the right answer. E power minus ST into F of S. Laplace transform of a pulse function of magnitude E and duration T equal to 0 to T equal to A is. Option B is the right answer. That is E divided by S into E power minus AS. So, this is also calculated using the Laplace transform formula. The final value theorem, we know the final value theorem for Laplace transform is limit S tends to infinity. Final value means here in left hand side you will be having infinity and right hand side you will be having 0 equal to limit S tends to 0 S into F of S. So, option A is the right answer. The inverse Fourier transform of signum function SDN, this is signum function, signum function of omega is j divided by pi t. Option A is the right answer. Next problem. 
if i of s is equal to 5 into s plus 250 divided by s into s plus 100 the final value of s so here the final value theorem we have to use limit f of t s tends to infinity equal to limit s tends to 0 s into f of s so here first we have to multiply by s then you have to apply the limit s tends to 0 so you will be getting the answer as 12.5 ampere option b is the right answer the inverse Laplace transform of 2s plus 5 divided by s square plus 5s plus 6 is. So, using partial fraction or power series expansion, we can find the inverse Laplace transform. So, by calculating that, you will be getting the answer as option B. That is e power minus 2t plus e power minus 3t. A signal m of t is multiplied by a sinusoidal waveform of frequency fc such that v of t equal to m of t into cos 2 pi f c t. If Fourier transform of m of t is m of f, then Fourier transform of v of t will be, so this is by using the modulation property. So, option c is the right answer, that is 0.5, 1 by 2 m of f plus f c plus 1 by 2 m of f minus f c. If 27 is plus 97 divided by s square plus 33 s is the Laplace transform of f of t then f of 0 is. So, here we have to apply the initial value theorem. So, using initial value theorem we can calculate f of 0. So, answer is 27. Option c is the right answer. The trigonometric Fourier series of an even function of time does not have sign term. So, option C is the right answer. The Fourier transform of a conjugate symmetric function is always real value. So, option B is the right answer. The Fourier series representation of a periodic voltage V of t equal to 5 plus 8 sin omega t plus pi by 6 plus 2 sin 3 omega t volt the effective value. So, we have to find the RMS value. So, using this formula, we can calculate it. Then, answer is 7.681 volts. Therefore, option B is the right answer. The Laplace transform of the waveform shown in the below figure is, so for this figure, we have to find the Laplace transform. So, using the Laplace transform formula and applying the limit, we can calculate the answer. So, answer is option D. 1 by S into e power minus S plus e power minus 2S minus 2 into e power minus 3S. Laplace transform of e power AT cos AT is answer is S minus A divided by S minus A the whole square plus alpha square. Next problem. The final value of 2s plus 1 divided by s square plus 8s cube plus 16s square plus s is. So, you here also we are going to use the final value theorem. So, option D is the right answer that is 0. Next problem, Laplace transform of f of t is given by, so this is Laplace transform formula. Option D is the right answer, f of s is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t into dt. Laplace transform of f of t equal to t divided by k for t less than k and it is 0 for t greater than k. So, by using the Laplace transform formula, we can calculate it. So, answer is option a minus e power minus k s divided by s square into s plus 1 by k. Laplace transform of 2 power t. Answer is 1 divided by log 2. Option a is the right answer. Laplace transform of f of t equal to f of s. Then Laplace transform of t power n f of t. So, here we are using the differentiation property. So, answer is option d minus 1 power n d power n divided by ds power n into f of s. Inverse Laplace transform of 1 divided by s power n is possible when n is a positive integer. So, option C is the right answer. Inverse Laplace transform of 1 is your unit impulse function. 
that is del of t. A Laplace transform exists when the function is piecewise continuous, the function is of exponential order that is option A and B. Therefore, option A is the right answer. Where is the ROC defined or specified for the signals containing causal as well as anti-causal terms? So, if you are having causal as well as anti-causal means then ROC will be between the two poles. So, option C is the right answer. According to the time shifting property of Laplace transform, shifting the signal in time domain corresponds to the time shifting property. That means we have to multiply by e power minus s t naught in the frequency domain. So, option B is the right answer. Unilateral Laplace transform is applicable for the determination of linear constant coefficient differential equations with non-zero initial condition. So, option B is the right answer. What should be the location of poles corresponding to the ROC for bilateral inverse Laplace transform especially for determining the nature of time domain signal? That means on both sides of ROC region of convergence. Therefore, option C is the right answer. Generally, the convolution process associated with the Laplace transform in time domain results into simple multiplication in complex frequency domain. Therefore, option A is the right answer. When is the system said to be causal as well as stable in accordance to the pole 0 of ROC specified by the system transfer function? Only if all the poles of the system transfer function lie in the left half of the S plane. This is very very important condition. So, option A is the right answer. So, next problem. If y of t is the solution of y dash plus 3y equal to 0, y of 0 equal to 2, then Laplace transform of y of t equal to. So, using differentiation property. Because y dash means dy divided by dt. Therefore, the answer is 2 divided by s plus 3. Option A is the right answer. If Laplace transform of y of t is y of s, then Laplace transform of y double dash of t. y double dash of t means double time differentiation. So, using the property, we can write s square y of s minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0. So, option D is the right answer. Now, we have come to the end of the video. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.